Thank you. Okay, good. So it looks like we lost Bradley, but I'm sure we've got Bradley's number somewhere on the group to send um, data to. All right. So oh, we seem to also be losing Sandy Adams. Sandy Adams, are you happy to tell us a bit about yourself? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. So where are you? I'm in Darling. Mm -hmm. So a little bit outside Cape Town. Are you with the Darling Grow Group? That's oh, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, I've got a little veggie garden at home. It's, I just went out and pasted it actually. It's probably about six by 12 meters. Seventy two um, square meters. Okay, that's small. And that's actually mm -hmm. yeah, kind of medium. Okay. There is also the community card garden, which we're just getting going again. So we just started on that this weekend. And I'm going to guesstimate that it's between 150 and 200 square meters of kind of grow space that's available there. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing really growing there at the moment. We're just getting composting, heaps going, and we're starting to build some raised beds. So I don't really know the history of anything growing there. Um, my little garden, I've been growing for a few years now. Um, and I haven't looked at your document on Google Drive, so I'm not really sure where I should be on. Um, well, don't, don't worry, just like, it's more about, are you a very detail oriented person and do you have lots of time? That would make you like the super duper well, dedicated no, seed saver, or have you got medium quantities of time and you, okay with detail or you just like very casual and not too much time yeah i would say between medium and casual um i love gardening i don't have that much time i've got twin kids and um, an elderly mom and all kinds of other things going on i do i mean i am at home and i do try and spend a little bit of time in the garden every day so um okay. yeah. and what have you had success with in your garden and what do you love that we could maybe Okay, varying successes, but the seed, the seed I've had success in saving has been um, uh, pretty good with tomatoes, carrots, um, spinach, but you know, with, with the, the, the colored stems, so the sort of red and pink <clears throat> bright light spinach, loads of that. Um, <laughs> what actually happened there is it crossed with beetroot. Ah, okay. Well, that'll be why. <laughs> but it's great. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. What else? Peas. Um, we we collect our peas every year and plant and grow. So those have been going well. Um, board beans. I've done okay mm. with. Mm. And peppers. Some years good and some years not. So I wouldn't want to rely on you for that. Yeah. And um, kale had some success with kale. I haven't actually saved any kale seed. I, I usually buy seed or That's a very, very curly one. Um, the curly one, and then also when you said Siberian kale, I thought, oh, that rings a bell. I bought that from Living Seeds, and that's done okay. And then there's the, okay. the, the black, um, black something kale also. Okay, so your your normal kale and your cavallo nero, which is your your black or dark kale, will cross with each other, and they will cross with collie broccoli and okay, Brussels sprouts and cabbage. Yeah. So that's just a note. That will mean you need to cage and open and close every day, unless you just do the true Siberian kale. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think kale's probably not for me because I do grow. <coughs> um, Broccoli, cauliflower. Uh, I don't. Would you seed. let them go? You know, yeah. it's, it's uh -huh. only if it's only if you let them go to seed that you need to worry. So what what some people do is, this year we'll do broccoli seed. Next year we'll do collie. The year after we'll do okay. kale. So you can go on to a four year cycle. You know, we're not commercial seed sellers selling to the demanding 
commercial farmers, if we seed saving amongst each other, then we, we're okay. Like, ah, oh, if the seed's four years old, we know the germination rate's going to be a little bit lower. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's more about us keeping the seed going than being perfectionists. Yeah. Right. It's, okay. So that, I mean, that sounds like enough for your garden and like, and you've definitely got enough to go into your 200 square meter garden with. Mm -hmm. If you like, I could send your new community garden a couple of varieties for eating and then to, to block off for saving. Yes, that would be amazing. Okay, cool. Thanks, Sandy. Um, mm -hmm. Right, let's see who's next. Yes. Karima. Yes, I. I'm here. Thank you. Hi. Where are you from, Fiat? No, no, no. It's Bradley again. You I just have to follow. Oh, Bra we got back to Bradley. Sorry, Bradley. Yes, okay, yes, I'll yes, unsweetheart you. I was like, problem. how come there's a guy Karima's called Karima wife. here? <laughs> no, it's my <laughs> wife. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, Bradley, um, have you grown any seed yes. at all? Um, yes, uh, yes, I have grown quite a, a few already. It's just the one seed um, we got from Mozambique the last time. It's a mealy. And um, I grew the, the, the plants and then I caught the seed again. And, and now the plants is again growing quite beautifully. Um, I would say I would like uh, maybe some vegetables to, to grow some vegetables. I have vegetables there as well, but I don't have any. Seeds yet. I caught some sunflower seeds from my previous sunflowers after they flowered. Mm -hmm. um, I would say I would mainly go into good uh, vegetable plant companions. Um, the main ones like potatoes, whatever would be a good companion with potatoes. I would love those um, well, plants. Yeah, all those seeds. Okay, this is kind of, this is taking us off into a sidebar topic. Um, okay. You can treat most of your vegetable crops as companions for each other if you if if one just uses the companion planting list broadly, which I can also share into the drive. Um, your only trick with your maize is you have to collect from a minimum of two hundred plants, Bradley. They okay. they suffer from something called genetic depression. Oh, so okay. if if you yeah, so you you one needs to collect across. A wide number of plants to keep all the gene traits going and the tricky oh. thing with maize is that the pollen is so fine um, yes. that it's really hard to um, isolate I don't know if you've been to the first yes you have been on, on, on the lectures hey I hate calling them yes, lectures. I have been. yeah <laughs> so um, if you wanted to collect a maize variety, you would need to grow really early or really late, and then you are pretty darn sure that your seed, okay. seed is coming out pure. Okay, and I wouldn't want them to affect any other plants around me, so then I would rather not choose to grow it then. If it's going to be okay. bad for the other so, plants. So, I mean, are you, are, you all, are you having a lot of time on your hands? Are you, are you guys... Fully committed to yes. this production space. Yes, I have in my okay. community. Yes, I have a lot in my com of people in my community. I'm I'm also busy enlisting them to Zlato soon, so I'm just all. Um, and then and then also what's wonderful, Bradley, is then getting the seed into the CES system into the alternative currency thing. Yeah. Oh, on that note, by the way, I, I, I rewind, rewind. You can all buy a seed from me in talents on the community exchange system. That's how we're going to do it. So make sure everyone signs up. Um, okay, cool. So would you like me to then just make a range of seed available to you? Yes, that would be great. That okay. would be highly appreciated. Thanks. Okay. And then just before we've, maybe the next session, the next last session we do is just having a look at, at what it would, the nuts and bolts of what it would mean to, to get this bank, um, banking. Okay. No problem. Okay, Thanks. Cool. Yay. And excellent, excellent <laughs> quantities of land, hey? Yes. Is wow. That, yes, really. That's pretty Excuse amazing. Me? I said, that's amazing. Yes, and we're on the aquifer, and it is uh, deemed as agriculture land, so it's actually perfect. The land is saved yeah. by the community for farming. Excellent. 
yeah, more and more of that. All right, so the okay. next person, thank you. Yes, where, oh, and there's a, there's a picture of Bradley. Cool. Ria, where are you? Okay, I live in Mowbray. Yeah. And I have a little garden in uh, Site B in uh, Kailicha. Okay. So my actual growing space is there. Okay. And um, it's the same size as many others. It's 200 square, no, 400 square meters. It's a 20 by 20 meter. It's small. It's really small. Huh? And is it, is, it, is it cranking along already? Have you collected seed from it already? Yeah, we have. Um, so in the beginning, we were just growing wildly and everything grew in great abundance and we collected seed but we actually switched over to being a little market garden. And so now we all neat and tidy rows. And so we don't really keep a lot of stuff going to seed because it takes up too much space. Mm. But what we have um, summer months is a interesting variety of tomato seeds. And mm -hmm. that is where I would like to share what I have, what we have, because ugh, it's just the most gorgeous varieties and they just taste so amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's all kinds of ox hearts and uh, I've forgotten what they are now. But yeah, so it's tomatoes. What we also have and also um, get some sunflower seeds. We've got the amaranth, the purple or red one. It pops up all on its own continuously, I can save that. Um, we also have broad beans. Oh, and something else we grow on our um, fence area is um, indigenous edible plants. So if anyone wants some dune spinach or sun quill, I have a lot of that. Okay. My yeah, I guess in, in, in a way that this, this, this seed bank could also just be seen as a bean bank so that we can all trade cuttings like sweet potato runners, uh, the opslach seedlings from the Dana Cool. And... Yeah. Okay. So what, what I'm seeing with both yourself and Bradley with the scale you guys are on or you ladies and gents are on um, is that you, you can actually dedicate like a strip one bed uh, to growing seed or one section of bed. You only need about, I would say, accepting the big herders, except like the millies and, and pumpkins and things. You, you could get away with like three to five meters of a market garden bed that could easily grow three to four varieties of seed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as which? I beg your pardon? Like which kinds, which varieties, like the... Your, like the I would go for your easy, your easy ones where you don't have to stress about them cross-pollinating. So carrots, celery, your broad beans are fantastic, your peas, a lot of your protein stuff. Yeah. And now we actually managed to have, we're currently letting a, um, uh, I think it's red, maybe it's purple carrot going to seed. So that, mm -hmm. yeah, so we, we do set space aside occasionally. Um, yeah. And another thing is that's also producing lovely flowers and therefore um, we let it go to seed is radish because, yeah, they're very generous in giving seeds mm. Mm. and pods. And, and also we often sell the radish pods. Um, okay. Which they are, yeah, they're very tasty. Yeah. So what happens in now, because it's a little garden, I'm sure the others have the same um, issue, is the, the abundance of seed, the, it's just so amazing and we keep on growing all sorts of interesting things. And, mm. and, and we, you know, I think we should just have a, us now, um, I should make a better effort in letting some of our varieties go to seed. Um, mm. being able to, you know, to share it amongst other people and also to have the continuation of the And world. also, you know, it's, 
Um, it's, I don't know if you were in some of the early talks, but it's a really good idea to keep your seed production beds a little bit separate, A, because they take up more time, and B, because when you allow plants to go to seed, they're mobilizing water repellent bacteria and fungi in the soil. So they actually bugger around with your, your food production. Yeah, they do. Because they, they, well, they're doing something else. Their minds are on another activity. And your yeah. vegetables' minds are in the kind of teenage nitrogen uh, kind of phase. Okay, yeah. so um, what, what I'll also do with this group is I'll just make a list of the seed that I have um, available um, onto the CTT growing group. Um, and, and I'm going to be quite um, rigid about it selling them only on the community exchange system so that we can get people signed up to that alternative multi-directional bartering tool. Sounds interesting. <laughs> oh, it's liberation. Yeah. Cool. Okay. It looks like, thank you so much, Ria. It looks like we have got Sandy Adams orchard left and then. Yeah. My personality, um, oh. Alex, personality, oh, I wish I was, um, the dedicated uh, but I'm not I'm not I wish there was maybe in 10 years from now but so it's, it's another casual medium casual. are you not in it are you not in a team I'm not at the garden continue I'm not there all the time and we struggle too much it's 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 no uh, we, we can't even <laughs> successfully grow um, um, cucumbers or baby marrows or squashes so no I'm not that okay. dedicated. I wish I was. That's absolutely fine. I think we'll have a, a huge group of superfood growers, <laughs> and then we'll slowly grow into into the steady, big scale, more complicated stuff. No worries. Okie dokie. Okay, excellent. Thanks so much, Ria. Sandy, let's hear from you. Oh, we've heard from you. Sorry. And the last, so the last person on the group is Sine Temba. Can you tell us where you are and your seed saving personality? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, uh, this is my first uh, workshop meeting. Uh, yeah. So I live in Strand. In Strand. Mm -hmm. And are you, what size garden are you working on for September? I'm working on my backyard garden. Have you got any idea of the dimensions? No, but it's uh, small. Mm -hmm. Have you saved any seed at all um, prior to this? Yes, um, I've successfully seeded uh, radish, carrots and fruit. Oh boy, I missed that one, love. You successfully seeded? Um, radish. Uh huh? And radish and beetroot. Have you replanted that beetroot seed? Yes, I did. Excellent. That but means there was no spinach in flower around you. There was there was spinach, but uh, I didn't let, I didn't let it seed. So. Excellent. Is there any is there anything else that you've had um, success with? Uh, not yet, but I was still challenging myself uh, with uh, Italian parsley. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm still. Uh, Still developing, trying to challenge myself with uh, other vegetables which I can, I can grow. Okay, and would you say you're a very detail-oriented, dedicated person, or more on the casual side, or somewhere in between? Uh, I'd say somewhere in between at the moment because I'm still, uh, I'm still a student, which I have to spend more time on the books. But I make sure that uh, almost every day I do uh, attend my garden. 
I can almost hear in your voice that you have tendencies towards dedication. <laughs> Am I right? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm just looking for somebody. Okay, so we've got Denise, dedicated medium, and Tina Temba has tendencies. This is great. Is there any particular uh, seed that you'd like to, to try out? Uh, yes. I've been hearing people speaking about kale and uh, what's that? Yeah, so at the moment it's, uh, it's kale and lettuce. You know, what I can also definitely encourage people to grow because it's very dual purpose is spring onions because your spring onions are a bunching onion and they'll continue to make baby oh. spring onions while they're making seed. So you'll have a maybe a month where you won't get much in the line of spring onions, but you're collecting a lot of seed and then suddenly you'll be back in the swing of, of having spring onions to eat. I did try... Um growing uh, spring onions, but I wasn't successful, so which means I have still a lot of reading to do or check where did I make some errors in growing it. You know, they are pretty forgiving. If you give them a reasonable soil and enough water, they'll just go for it. Okay. okay. I can try that. Yeah, definitely give that a, another bash. Okay, cool. So I see, thanks, Netemba. I can see we've been joined by Mapizzo. Hello. And Nadia. Um, ladies, are you standing in line to um, join the seed bankers? Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm wearing myself. Good, sweetie, you are absolutely invisible. Can you talk a little louder? I'm well in yourself. Good, good. <laughs> yes, Alex, I'd love to join the seed banking. Uh, I love joining, I, I love saving seed. It's one of my favorite pastimes. But I am all the way in Harry Smith in the free Oh, spot. wow. Okay. I'm glad you. I'm glad you dialed in. So, yes, my pizza, would you would you say that you are dedicated detail or casual or somewhere in the middle? Somewhere in the middle. I'm trying to be more dedicated, so I'm somewhere in the middle. And how much space do you have? I'm not sure about the, the, the specific numbers, but it's about the side of our um, our vegetable garden at Seed in Mitchell's Plain. Oh, you mean the one that Lawrence was looking after? Yes, just in an L-shaped form. Okay, so that's actually quite big. I think that's a three, three, two to three hundred square meters. Yeah, that's quite All big. So, um, yeah, that's very big. So I wanted to maybe make some as a as a nursery, maybe divide half into a hot house, like just like we have at Seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, is the intention of the garden for seed or for food or both? For both, but mainly for seed because in the free state, as you know, we have a lot of GMO crop. So I would mm -hmm. like to start um, just getting that indigenous seed back again. Okay. So it also sounds like you will, in that case, probably need a fair amount of caging and structures. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Um, what, have you, what have you been growing successfully and what do you have to share? Um, I have listed two sunflower seeds that I've, that I've been growing pretty well here and some hycoidal pumpkin. Ah. And some beans. I've got a variety of beans from Malawi as well that I've been trying to to save a bit of their seed. And because so what's interesting, if, if this is of interest to other people, um, 
one of the one of the in- tricky things is if you start moving crops around latitudes, mm. um, they behave differently. So the thing is, you're closer to the latitude that Malawi is at than we are down here in the Western Cape, for example. Mm. I think. So you probably will have more success, but you may find that some of those beans just go on strike because they want different day length regimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mapizzo, are you, I think think what we're gonna have to do after this, Erica, is the wonderful thing of starting up the Seed Savers WhatsApp group, hey? Yes, that would be lovely. Because then we can get into much more detail about who's got where, what, how, troubleshoot yeah, with each definitely. other. And, you know, 13 is a fabulous number because there are 13 full moons every year. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's a really good number to start with. It's not an unlucky number. Um, and it looks like Nadia just disappeared. No, I'm still here. Okay, cool. Let me wrap up with um, my pizza quickly. Okay, so I, th- I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll get that WhatsApp group going and then I will f- immediately post the seeds that I need to have looked after okay. and sent out. And also the link to the CES so that everyone can sign up and start doing business in the community um, way. Okay. Um, and I'm, there are two ways of getting seed to everyone. One is through the post office. The only place I won't send is Joburg. And then there's the pep stores. Mm-hmm. Pep stores asks about 50 Rand for their taxi service. And that, that takes about a week to get to everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. I can see that, Erica. Cool. Mutual credit. Thank you. There's, there's the word. Okay, great. Marvelous. Bring on more revolution and underground work. Okay, Nadia, let's hear from you. Hi, everybody. So, I'm Nadia. I'm from the Bonjia Volcan. Um, we've recently started um, our community garden in partnership with one of the foundations in our area. Um, I think if I must estimate the space is half a soccer field. Um, that's so good. That- <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's 50 by 50. I think that's two and a half thousand square meters. Yeah. It's smaller I than Bradley, think- but definitely bigger than the 400 square meter garden. Yeah, I also have a small garden in my backyard that I started a couple of months ago. But the interest in our community garden is for food security, basically. Um, We have, for the last four weeks, we have suffered what we term donor fatigue. Mm. And we came to realize that if we're not going to look after ourselves and be dependent on donors, um, our people will be going hungry. So the mm. next port of food for us was to start growing our own food. So um, we have cleared um, a bush that was about waist high in the last four weeks. And we've started planting seedlings that um, was generously donated by our pairing can. And we've also got some um, seeds from Stark Ears that um, the guys this morning when I visited the garden, they were in the process of planting carrots. So, um, mm. yeah. Right. So I've just made a little note there that it's a, probably a really good idea to get your quickies in. Unfortunately, the fastest food crop <laughs> is radish and not everyone loves a radish. Um, started with beetroot and spinach. And okay, I think this week, and then today we planted, well, not we, the guys, they planted the carrots. So I work from Monday to Friday, mm. and I only have time after work, which is after three in the afternoon and also on weekends. But mm. being the administrator for the CAN, um, there's such a lot of things happening in our community that you have mm. to, somebody has to be the glue that holds everything to, together. So mm. that's me. So I try and be 
in as many places as possible and then impart the information down to our group and see who's interested in, in following up and following through. So maybe a good idea to take a bit of the, the load off you, Nadia, is to identify someone in the growing group that's fairly detail oriented who can join the seed banking group. We've actually got five guys who yeah. posts about between them, they've got a hundred years of experience in gardening. There so go. um, they all do volunteer work. So um yeah, so they're in the garden every day from nine mm. until twelve. Okay. That is fantastic. So um I think it's important that they join the, the seed growing group. I think it might be a challenge because a lot of them don't have cell phones that yeah. and um, if they do have it's the little ones that doesn't have WhatsApp and, and, and all of those features. So it might be a challenge. We'll see how we can work around it. Um Erica, a question then to you. The data we yep. generate here, is there anyone who could maybe print some of this info? And, and also, Nadia, like, could you maybe print the little seed-saving book? Is it the Engels of Afrikaans for us? It's not me, so I can't. It can Engels of Afrikaans for us. Okay, good. The other thing is in Engels. In hulle verstaan nie, dan kan ons altyd vir hulle translate, um, maar in ons het um, um, printing um, facilities, ja. Yeah. As ons nie kan print nie, dan Frans gewoon dit vir Randebosch, ons a pairing can, om okay. vir ons die vijf te doen. Cool. Sorry, Erika. Yeah, we can ask, we can ask the Randebosch can to help out mm. in print. So I uh, will be in contact with them. Um, if not, you can just drop me a direct message. You the contact person in the Rondebosch can is, and I can organize that your manual gets printed. Okay. And um, what, I, what I can also offer into this is some years ago, I wrote a very brief little overview of seed saving. I just need to scan it. And I think I've got it in English and Afrikaans. And also a little, a tiny little guide to making cuttings. So I just need to scan that and then I can pop it into the drive and, and whoever wants to use it is very welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. En dan wil ek ook uitvind, van ek het jare terug een verskrikkelijke verengelste Afrikaanse handleiding tot permaculture geskryf. I can scan that and also make it available if people want to use that. And I'd be so grateful if someone could... Um, help with some of the taller became. Well, let's put it out of the drive and see who's willing to give it a bash. Yeah. Lekker. So it looks to me, have we chatted to everyone? Um, is there anyone who's not on this little spreadsheet? I think we've got everyone and we've only got five minutes left of this meeting, so we're going to need to wrap it up anyway. Fabulous. Okay. So, wonderful. Thank you, everybody. Let's let's go out and, and, and multiply. That is what we're going to do. Go forth and multiply. And um, for, for next week, uh, please come with questions. And I've got a feeling that next week we should maybe talk about... Um, the, the just a little bit of the technicalities of actually collecting the seed, processing it, drying it, and storing it. How does that sound? Yes, cool. and the and the technicalities of uh, actually banking the seed and everything. Okay, cool. Thank thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Let's hear your voices. Thank you. 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 Thank